Hello YouTube, adult fan of LEGO UK here and here you see in front of you the beast that is LEGO Technic Mobile Crane Mark II set number 42009 so this is going to be a full review of this particular set um, if you want to see the box, unboxing, instructions etc um, I will link down to that video which I've already done and is already on my YouTube channel so look down in the description and you will see a link to the unboxing. So guys, this set is a beast. It's got 2,606 pieces, um, and it probably took me, I would say around about 10 hours to build this in total. Um, it's a beast, real fun build. Um, obviously Lego Technic, um, so that goes without saying, but a lot of Technic pieces in particular, the Technic pins to hold the, uh, actual set together comes with some great functions on this set um, which I'm gonna take you over I'm gonna have to come off the tripod um, to show you that so I apologize in advance or any camera shake because um, it's just too big um, to get into shot so I've said it, it's a big set so one of the things I want to do to kind of demonstrate the size of it to you is here you have in front of you a minifigure so I am now going to put this minifigure in front of the set so you can see so there he is right down here so you can see how big this is um, compared to our minifigure it is like I said a mammoth set so anyway guys without further ado I think what I'll do first is take the camera off the tripod and give you a quick tour of the set itself then I'll show you some of the functions this is a power function set um, and I'll take you through those in a minute Okay guys, so here we are, and again I apologise for a camera shake in advance. So I just want to kind of give you a tour really of this um, set. So here is a lever which selects the various different functions. So up there you can see the winch, so that's to make the winch raise or lower when it's over to that position. So these switches move over so that's for the actual crane arm um, to go up and down and if you can see that there yeah then if we take it down here down and over to that side um, you will see that that is what makes the crane go um, extend and then back in um, and then here is for the outriggers um, which are there and there so they um, extend out and um, lower and raise and again I'll show you that function um, in a little while um, so sorry next thing if I go around to the rear of the set this wheel here actually turns the wheel so as I turn this you will see the wheels turning so you push that along like so okay so that gives us your view of the rear another function to show you as I'm doing that you see in there we've got some good engine detail as it's moving you see the pistons going up and down which again which is a real cool little feature so as I'm up here, I just want to show you, that's obviously the power mechanism there, the power function. You'll see all the cogs um, within this in various places, which kind of gives you um, an idea um, of the build and the complexity, actually, of uh, how this um, all, all operates. Okay, so I'm just going to spin this around and then show you the other side. Hey guys, now we're, as you can see we're on the other side of the crane itself now. So I'm just going to go into the front so we can get a shot inside the cab. Um, you'll see there are seats in there. As you can see there and the steering wheel. There's the actual end at the end of the winch, actual um, hook crane mechanism itself. Okay, so over here another function. This is for the outriggers again. Um, hopefully you can see. 
this so when this is selected to this side um, this makes the outriggers go um, extend out and in and then if we select this over to this side is what makes them go up or down um, so other function before I get onto the power functions are the whole thing spins and again you will get to see that um, in just a second actually when I start showing you some of the power functions on this but yeah great set guys so I'm just going to set this up now so that I can show the power functions okay guys I'm on the power functions so the first thing we need to do is extend the outriggers so we select that over to here like I showed you just a second ago power function and hopefully you can see now these are now extending out or have extended out now Turn that so you can see it better that way actually. Um, I'll spin that right around so you can get a better view. So I'll pull that view so we can go back in. Okay, just show what it's like going back in. You can see it better now. Okay, so I'm back in. Sorry, I'm just going to put them back out now. Turn, switch off there. Right now, what we need to do is lower. And this part is a little bit slow when it comes to lowering these actually. What we can see, we're getting lower, closer to the ground there. There we go, that's those fully lowered. Okay. Right guys, that's the uh, outriggers now out in position, so the crane is now stable. So the next thing to do is obviously lift the crane mechanism itself. So again, as I showed you before, we need to put that over to where the lifting uh, mechanism is. Put it on, and now you can see the crane starting to lift. Okay guys, as you can see there, the crane fully, well, first uh, the first lift part fully extended. So again, I'm going to have to go off the tripod now. Okay guys, so there we are. See the crane up in that position. So the next thing we need to do is put the selector down to the bottom right. So this is where we now extend the actual boom piece of the crane. So... Again, power on. And you will now see the crane piece extending out. So I'm going to have to move right back out of shot. You can see this now going up. Actually, she's going to go past my light actually. We'll just uh, zoom in there a little bit. There we go, so there we are, fully extended. Okay, so the next thing. The actual winch, which again is over to the upper right. Let's switch that on and we will now see the winch coming down. And I'll show you the working mechanism for that, so obviously follow it up. You can see the cable coming down. 
and you can see there the drum for the cable so it's actually working there um, as you can see gradually coming down okay then if we just uh, center this it's in center that effectively stops everything um, so then we can just switch the power off by the power mechanism okay like I said before this will spin all the way around like so I want to spam around there you can see obviously there's a seat there's the operators cabin there and you can see the seat inside there Again, see it's spinning all the way around like so. Oh, let's try and get a shot from above. You can see, guys, really, really cool set. Very impressed with this. Like I said, it was a long build, at least 10 hours, may have been a little bit more. But fun at the same time and it just looks I think absolutely fantastic really really is a great set so just going to lower everything back down now um, so I'll start the winch put the winch back so hopefully you can see that winch now raising ok let's get that back in ok then the boom Start going, lowering that as well, going back in as you can see there. Let's get that fully back retracted. Okay, that's the, the winch fully retracted, so let's now lower the crane. As you can see there. Lower that and get it back into position. Okay, crane lowered. Okay, that's the crane fully lowered. So the final piece is to obviously get the outriggers raised um, and then um, extracted back into position. So you'll see here them raising. keep this shot on actually I was going to stop this but so you can see this it's quite a good shot you can see the mechanism you can see them raising this is the rear of the truck and then all the way down here to the front of the truck a good idea actually again just so you can see the scale of this put my little bomb squad trooper back in there okay so that's them raised okay next thing <sighs> Let's get the outriggers back in. And you see that's a really quick, swift mechanism to actually get them retracted back into place. Okay, so that's it guys. That's the, the power functions all done. Um, so there we can see everything back into position. Again, just give you a few shots so we can see the rear there. I'll just come up over the top again show you moving this it is really easy to move this along great playability on this um, but obviously for older kids um, it is a big set it is heavy um, but yeah it is great and I mean as you can see there it certainly does look the part so there we go i hope you enjoyed that review of this set the lego technic mobile crane um, mark ii set four what's it on here four two zero zero nine um I, I love this set i think it's absolutely awesome it was a fun build um a bit hard going in sometimes was quite repetitive because of the amount of technic pieces in it 
um, but nonetheless enjoyable and I think the end result is fantastic. Um, I think it just looks so good and the power function is obviously just